What's up, everybody? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy. Um, I just came out of prayer, and I'm just feeling so inspired. And <laughs> um, there have been a lot of serendipitous events that have been going on in my life within the last ooh two months, <laughs> and um, you know things are just really amazing. And I'm hoping that, you know, some of you are experiencing that as well. Um, so I just was inspired to do a reading, to do a collective reading. So let's just see what we get here. Um, actually, let me start with, um, let's start with some Oracle messages here. I hope all is well with you guys. No matter what you're going through, I hope that you remain in a, a, a space of, um, of gratitude that's very important um, because everything that you're going through even the the rough stuff is really a lesson to uh teach you things about yourself to teach you about how powerful you are um and that's what that's the energy i'm coming off of out of out of, out of my prayer realizing how powerful i am and not realizing it <laughs> before <laughs> but uh just realizing it now and um I know that my purpose here is to is to help you to feel powerful as well and inspired as well. So let's see what we got for the collective. All right. Let's get three. Let's get one more. Okay. So we have ground groundhog spirit. Time to let go. All right. So this is number 31. Three plus one is four. Fours are all about um stability okay when you think about the four fours in tarot <clears throat> the four of pentacles talks about you know being stable in the physical realm you know which talks about you being stable in your health your financial uh, uh aptitude um your friendships and your uh, relationships um being solid and stable okay and we talk about the four of cups, your emotions, you being emotionally stable, uh, you know, being balanced, not wearing your heart on your sleeve, uh, being able to uh, be appreciative of what you have, okay, um, not being taken for granted or not taking people for granted, the four of swords, being uh, mentally uh, stable, um, not being uh, overturned with uh, stress and worry. OK, whether you focused on the past too much with depression or whether you're focused on the future too much with anxiety, you know, and then the four of wands being passionate and being happy and celebrating the beautiful things in life. Right. So that's what the fours represent. And um, in order for you to be able to be in that state of mind uh, for all of those elements, you have to let go of a lot of things that have happened to you. You have to let go. You have to look at it as a sense where, you know what? These things that happened to me were lessons to teach me who I am. Because if you never came up against adversity, how would you know what you could overcome? How would you be able to sit back to be like, yo, two months ago, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. But now I'm at a point where those two months have gone by and it's like, I, looking back at it, it's like I knocked that out the park. Not only was I uh, uh, afraid or uncertain of my power, it has been confirmed to me later on that I had the power to do whatever it was that I needed to do. So with that alone, just you still being here and having survived everything you've been through, that warrants, you know, for you to say, you know what, let me not hold any animosity or any grudges or resentment towards those who did me dirty. Let me not hand, let me not do that because... If I had not experienced those adversities, I would have not have come out in the manner in which I've come out. Yeah, I got some bruises and scars, but they heal. And I'm so much more better for it. So this is the energy that we should be in. And if you're not, then you may want to question why you're not able to let go of those things that hurt you. Are you still in the midst of dealing with those people? And if so, have you not expressed how you felt? Because that would be the only reason that at this point you would still be harboring animosity um, 
a lot of times because we still have to deal with those people and we have not expressed how we truly felt. Now, if you're still dealing with those people and you've expressed how you felt and they still disrespect and ignore or uh, disrupt your energy in any way, then that is something that you're going to have to look at because we are a reflection of the people around us. And if you still have these types of people around you, that is not them. Now we have to look at why you allow them to still be in your life, right? So there's ways you can let go. You can let go. Some people, they don't know how, but that's how you start by letting go is why are they still here? Do I still need to deal with them? Why is it that I'm afraid to let go of them? Or why is it I'm afraid to tell them how I feel? And after I told them how they feel and they still treat me disrespectfully, why am I still allowing it to happen? That's the only way you're going to be able to truly let go. Because then once you realize it, you'll say, oh, I see why I did that. Okay, I need to change that about myself. And then I forgive myself for being put in that position. And now I understand my power. I was allowing someone else to overpower me in that way. We have to understand how powerful we are, man. Truly. And then we have whale spirit, trust in the great mystery. Yes, this is it. This is it. Um, we have what? Five and six is number 11. To me, number 11s and number sevens are your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, the divine, the creator, whoever you call it, whoever you go to for guidance, speaking to you directly. And this is saying trust in the great mystery. You may not really understand why you had to go through some of those things you had to go through. You may not truly understand um, why it's so painful. But what I've been trying to do with this channel is to make people understand that there are two different realities. There are multiple realities that we deal with. But there is the 3D realm and there is your universal realm. And if you begin to start understanding the universal realm and how it how it works and the rules for the universal realm, the things that go in the 3D realm are going to start bothering you less and less. You're going to start detaching from some of the worldly things that are going on here. Now, it can be a lonely process because you're not going to find too many people who are resonating with you anymore. But on the other hand, what you get out of it is just this energy, this, this, this power that you have in you and realizing how powerful as a being you are. You are not a human. You are a spirit, a powerful spirit trapped in human flesh. And once you start understanding the universal realm versus this, this 3D realm, you start understanding who you are as a spirit and the power that you have and how this body is just a vehicle to help you get around in this realm. That's all it is. It does come with some positive perks, but it also comes with some negative perks, like the emotions that we got to deal with. <laughs> you know what I mean? The spirit realm, they don't deal with emotions. That's how you know when spirit's talking to you. It don't give a shit about your emotions. It don't give a shit about your feelings. It's just going to tell you what it is. We, as human beings trapped in these, not as human beings, but we as spirits trapped in these human beings, um, vehicles and these human vehicles, you know, these vehicles come with those emotions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like trying to balance those emotions and understand that I am a, I'm a universal being. I'm not a human being and understanding that, okay, as a human being, I got to cry sometimes. I got to feel hurt. I got to feel, you know what I mean? But after you understand that and you accept that that's what it is, that's when your power comes in because now you're able to control those emotions and you're like, yeah, okay, I know I feel this way, but I know it's going to go away. That's part of me being human. But it is going to go away, and I'm going to realize my power and who I am in this situation, and I will prevail. That's what the great mystery about this life is. And then we have dolphin spirit. It says this and that are true. This is interesting to me. Um, we got the number two here, okay? The number two deals with duality, Okay? You know, you got that little devil on your right shoulder and you got that little angel on your left or whichever side it's on for you. Okay, whichever side <laughs> those energies are on for you. But they're both real. Okay, whatever that devil is telling you, that's reality. <laughs> okay, whatever that angel is telling you, that's reality. Both this and that are true. All right, and so as a spirit, we have to try to determine at what particular time 
what is real and what is not real, what is true and what is not true. And sometimes this and that are true simultaneously. So those are some of the things that we have to deal with. And that's just the reality of this life here in this 3D realm. Yeah, you know, it. we are spiritual beings trapped in this human body. But at the same time, there are some benefits to being in this human body. Okay? We're able to uh, uh, touch, feel hugs, kisses, you know, um, connect physically with one another. Whether it's on an intimate level or whether it's just, you know, your your child hugging you. You know what I mean? So that's some of the benefits of being trapped in this human body. But at the same time, we're we're not this body. You know? So this and that are true. Um, what else do I want to get you? Let's see. Let's... Let's do some tarot. Let's do some tarot. Let's see. Okay, messages for the collective. What do we need to know during this time here? You know, a lot of us are, um, those of us who did the work and who uh, realized the karmic connections we uh, were in and we cut them out or we eliminated to them to the point where they do not disturb our energy and our aura anymore. Um, this is a time of celebration. This is a time of uh, coming to uh, the reality of your power, how, how powerful you are, how amazing you are. How you have successfully transformed. We have the Eight of Wands energy here. This is, I feel like, this is um, Sagittarius energy. This is about moving forward. Now things are going to start speeding up. Whenever you clear out a karmic debt, life starts to speed up. Whenever you're in a situation that's karmic and it's stressful and it's hard, it seems like life slows down, don't it? When you're depressed, don't time slow down? Slow down like hell. Slow as hell. Everything drags. But when you close out a karmic cycle, life starts speeding up. Things start going fast because it's like, okay, the universe is like, all right, we got that out of the way. Let's move on to the next, right? So the things that you're supposed to get, the blessings that you get for clearing up that karmic debt start coming in, okay? So these messages from the higher, uh, your higher self, your spiritual realm, they'll start coming in, congratulating you, letting you know, you did it. You did it, right? Okay, we got two cards that turned over. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse, which is Sag energy, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, see, with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups here, this is telling me... Um, <laughs> this is the energy of anger and frustration and anxiety. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to... It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a combination of all of that, of coming out of that energy. It's like you're getting the messages now. You're getting the downloads and it's like you're feeling the combination of angry because of what you went through, frustration, ang you know, anxiety, wanting to move on. Um, all of those things wrapped in one, you know. But then when you start to get past that stage um, and you are able to start slowly looking back with the Six of Cups, looking back at what you've been through, those energies will subside. You know, that anxiety will start to slow down because it's like, okay. For a lot of us, first of all, we need some rest because it's been a damn ordeal. So, you know, you got to get you some rest, right? Um, a lot of people have been sleeping a lot, okay? Uh, the weather's starting to change in certain areas of the country, certain areas of the world, wherever you are. I'm here in the States. So, you know, the weather is starting to warm up. So that's a beautiful thing, you know? Um, people are going to start feeling more lively and coming alive and... And it's just the energy of, yeah, I made it through this winter. I made it through the hell. I made it through the storm. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles in reverse energy here. So this is all about not knowing or letting go of the energy of not knowing what's coming. Um, not knowing what the universe has for you. And being okay with that. Trusting in what the universe is putting in front of you. See, the King of Pentacles, when he's upright, he's stable. He's practical. Um, he plans for long-term growth, long-term stability. He tries to create a legacy. But we all know sometimes that when we put plans together, I was just speaking about this in my prayer. We, sometimes we put plans together and the universe laughs. And this is what this King of Pentacles in reverse is. It's like, I have plans to do certain things. It's like a lot of us, this, the, what we're doing right now and what we're feeling right now and the energy we're in right now, it was unplanned. Unplanned. 
Like, if you thought back a year ago, would you be right here where you are right now? No, because that was not what you had planned. Okay, but because you were dealing with karmic cycles, you had no idea about, <laughs> you know what I mean? So now these things are becoming clear to you. Okay. What else we got? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so now what's going on is with this Four of Pentacles energy, this is an energy of understanding why you were in these situations. Um, for a lot of us, these messages that we're getting from the universe now that we've come out of these karmic situations is to immediately protect yourself. Distance yourself from that energy, guard yourself, and get your rest. Because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. So hopefully, you know, if you've been sleeping a lot, it's normal. It's okay. You know, um, if you've been feeling a little tired, it's okay. Rest. Go to sleep. <laughs> Take your naps. Get your rest. And also pay attention to your dreams because we're in Pisces season. You're going to be getting all kinds of messages from the universe. Okay, with this Eight of Wands energy. All right. You know, wands are very spiritual in nature. OK, so they can very well be messages from the higher from your higher self, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your creator, whomever. And so what they want you to do is protect your energy. Get your rest now. It's been a long, rough battle with the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's been rough. It's been arduous. It's been difficult. OK, but you've been fastidious and assuitous in your in your uh, forward movement. And so protecting yourself is key moving forward. And a lot of you had such rough, uh, you had such rough uh, situations to come out of, karmic situations to come out of with the Six of Cups because of the fact that you are here to help others. You're empathic, okay? Um, you have gifts that others don't. We all have our unique gifts, but your unique gift uh, because the, the more difficult your challenge and the more difficult your uh, your travels as far as these karmic lessons means that you have so much to offer that the negative powers that be don't want that energy to get out. They don't want you to help the others. So what we have to learn to do now that we've come out of these situations is learn to protect ourselves. We have to understand that everybody is not going to be able to benefit from uh, our gifts Everybody's not going to want to benefit from our gifts instead of us, you know, trying to people please and not understanding why we can't get people to look at things our way or get people to like us or get people to want to be with just us and only us and not mess around or what have you or violate. We have to understand that we should be protecting ourselves first and foremost. OK, first and foremost. We have, what is this? This is the lovers in reverse. Yep, see, all about choices. Major arcana energy here with Gemini in reverse. All about making the right choices. Um, those of us who are uh, healers are in the process of healing ourselves. You may have noticed as you come out of these karmic cycles that you're starting to feel better. Your health is starting to change. Your hair could be growing back. You may have less grays. You may have lost a little bit of weight here and there and may not have even been working out. Your uh, appetite may have changed. You may want to eat more healthier. Um, you may want to be drink more. You may want to drink more water. You may want to get more sleep. These are just natural adjustments that your body is going through. Okay. Um, and this is what happens when you come out of these um, negative uh, connections here. The duality. In reverse is what I was talking about earlier. The duality of things, this and that are true. This is what this duality is about. And when this is in reverse, sometimes we made the wrong choice or we stayed in a connection too long. And it drained us of our resources. And so what we need to learn moving forward is when to say, okay, I'm jumping off this ship. Because you're not going to um, stress me. You're not going to have me running around here bald. You're not going to have me running around here, <laughs> you know, tired and worn out because, you know, we can't see eye to eye. Like, I know when to say no. I know when to protect my interests. I know not to make those decisions to stay in relationships, no matter what they are, that are just going to drain me of my energy. We have the two of wands. 
Yeah, so you come to a point where it's like, okay, which way do I want to go? I know I need to get up out of this situation, right? Which way do I need to go? Well, here I have this option and I have this option. Some of you, um, there's some moving that went on, physically moving from one location to another with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. All right, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Some of you just jumped out there. You know what I mean? You just felt like you had to. But yeah, this is all about choosing which direction you want to go now. Now that you have served your karmic debt and you've done what it is that you need to do, now it's just a matter of, okay, what options are opening up to me? What roads are opening up? And a lot of you are starting to see. Some of the things that you wanted to do are are, are being presented to you now, okay? Um, some of the options that you wish you would have had, like some of your wishes are starting to come true. You can actually see it now. You can actually imagine it more so more detailed and more clear because you're that much closer to it because you were obedient you were obedient and this is how the universe blesses you okay you got to rest up you got to get yourself together you got to look at those lessons you learned and then you have to just sit and be obedient listen to those serendipitous messages that come in as the universe leads you where you're supposed to go and then make those choices to go those routes it's hard to sit back, you know, and let the universe decide what it is that we're supposed to do for us. That's one of the most difficult things um, for those of us who are um, doers, you know. It's like we, we have to plan and we have to make things happen and things like that. But for those of us who are those type of people, it's very difficult for us to sit back and say, all right, let me just let the universe decide what it wants me to do. And if you learn to start trusting the universe, life gets so much easier. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm so less stressed then I have been in so long because it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to sit back because I'm a Capricorn moon. So I got to plan things. I got to make things happen. I can't sit back and not be comfortable. It, you know, it don't make no sense. I'm not doing it type of energy. That's how I am. But I've been, I've been praying for the, the, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, to be able to sit back and trust the universe. And the universe has been showing me the more that I let that trust or, or let that trust build, the more that I realize, okay, I don't have to be so hands-on on everything and then wonder why my plans don't fall through. Because sometimes the universe has different plans than we have, right? And so there's that confidence here with the sun energy. You have to have that confidence in yourself, knowing that you have that connection with spirit. Knowing that spirit is not going to lead you wrong because you're being obedient. You're doing what you're supposed to do. If you don't know what you're supposed to do, check your north node, all right? That's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Long story short, right? So once you know what you're supposed to be doing and you're confident in that, the universe is going to reinforce that confidence. And that's where that power comes in. And then you realize just how much of a powerful being you are, right? With the star card energy in reverse here, you got to be careful not to get too cocky, okay? You got to be careful um, not to, um, because those of you who are really doing the work, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, how powerful you feel. Okay? And, you know, there are going to be people who are not going to like the fact that you've taken control or taken back control over who you are. Because these people had control over you before because they had you all entwined in their web. Trying to people please and trying to fix shit that just can't be fixed because they wasn't going to allow it to be anyway. And then on top of that, some of you trying to fix things with people who were who were wired to come into your life to act this way. That is why they were in your life. You ever notice how, for example, a scenario where you go to a funeral, you'll have some people who, I will never go to that person's funeral. They're a piece of shit. Da, 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 da. But at the same time, there's somebody in their life that they took care of or, or, or um, you know, somebody that they showed love to. For example, here's a hypothetical situation. You have people who, um, and it's, this might get a little dark for a second, but you have like, for example, you could have serial killers who were married. Or kidnappers who were married. They kidnap and torture. People have them in their basement and their wife and kids don't even know about it. They sit here and they provide for their family and their kids and their family and, you know, their wife and their kids. And their wife and kids could swear that they're the best thing since sliced bread. But on the flip side, you got somebody over here who's looking at this person like they're the worst thing that could have ever, ever happened to me. You know what I'm saying? So... You can't please everybody. You're always going to be in a position where there's somebody who doesn't like you for whatever. And that was an extreme situation. But that was just to um, illustrate the duality 
of how people are going to feel about you. So there are going to be some people who don't like that you step into your power and you do what's best for you. You know, or there are going to be people who don't like that you're this way versus people who love that you're this way. What you have to do is focus on what is it that you feel? What's good for you? Right? What's good for you? What's best for you? Um, I had another point, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> what it was, but I'm going to move on. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands here. So this is, I feel like this is an energy of letting go of worrying about what other people have to say about you, struggling with that. Damn, but this person feels this way. I don't want to hurt this one. I don't want, you got to start focusing on you and protecting you because that, especially if you're someone who is meant to do work for others. Okay. Um, I've always known that I was meant to work for others and do, and, and do for others. I, I've, I've known that from the, the day I came out of the damn womb. And because of that energy and that generous energy me, and I didn't know how to harness it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to express it. I was, you know, in situations where I was taken advantage of, right? But once you start paying attention to the people who are presenting themselves to you and how you're acting to you, and you start understanding who you are and start studying your chart and start understanding what universal law is, things that you can't touch, things that you can't see, but you can feel, then things start making sense to you and you start coming up out of that weak energy being weak for these people who are struggling just like you we all are here for the same damn reason we all are here to learn lessons some of us oh like this is the point i was trying to make earlier with this situation where you had the wife and the kids and the husband who was uh you know providing for them taking care of them and they all looked up to him and then you had he had this person in his basement that he was torturing and kidnapping because he was sadistic on that level you know um Oh, the thought just left again. But at any rate, I have a point. Don't don't worry. I have a point with that. Um, but with this Ten of Wands energy here, this is letting go of worrying about who, um, you know, who likes you and who appreciates what it was that you're destined to do. Some people are not going to believe in your destiny and in your journey. They're not going to see you as somebody who um, is a star in your own regard. OK, because they were purposely wired and put in your life to take down your star. OK, there are people who are wired and put on this planet to purposely come into your life to hurt you. OK, there are people who are purposely put in your life to come into your life to help you. OK, and you have to understand who these people are and not get too stressed out and frustrated when, you know, things are going downhill. You have to know when to jump ship. OK, and that was the point I was trying to make about how one person could feel that this person is the best thing since sliced bread and someone else could feel like this person is a horrible individual. It's because each person that comes into your life is designed to do a specific job in your life. They were that that example I gave you, that sadistic killer or whatever you he was designed to come into that person's life to do that to them. And on the flip side, he was designed to come into his family's life to provide and take care for them. So there's always a duality in all the people that we meet. So this is why you can see that one person will say, oh, I like them. They, they don't bother me. They're a decent person. Where you may say, well, I'm not dealing with them because they did A, B, and C, and D. You know, you have those types of things going on. What is that loud noise? Lord, I don't know what that is. But um, yeah, so that was the point I was trying to make. So we just have to understand now our power, understand why people come into our lives, take our time to get to know people, understand what their purpose is. What are they reflecting back to us? That's what you want to look at. What is this person reflecting back to me? All right. And how do I look at what this person is reflecting back to me? Look at how this person treats me. OK. And how do I respond when they treat me a certain way? If this person comes to me and, you know, rolls their eyes at me and, you know, doesn't want to, I just meet this person and they roll in their eyes, they don't want to shake my hand or, you know, they're very, you know, detached from me. Am I going to get angry with this person because of that? No, because what that is doing is that's allowing them to overpower me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to act accordingly. I'm going to act the way that I would act with anybody. And if I feel this person is giving me too much pushback or act up, um, opposition, then what am I going to do? I'm going to step off, right? 
I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to people please and say, well, why don't you like me? Well, why do you want to keep cheating on me? I do everything you want me to do. I, you know, I do the special tricks for him so he stays with me. Or, you know, I do those things she likes so she ain't going nowhere. She, she will never leave me. But yet. These people still go someplace else. Why? Because those other people were programmed to come into their life. So you have to let go of control. The only thing you can control is you. And when you start understanding these and look at these relationships in that way, you will no longer be fooled. You will no longer be taken for granted. You will no longer be looking at someone as if they're disloyal or dishonest. I mean, you can look at them that way, but they won't put that um, pain on you. You know what I'm saying? You won't be so um, engulfed in pain behind it because you understand the nature of why people come into your life. So if there's one thing I want you to get out of the reading is understanding. Everyone comes into your life for a reason. There is a lesson in every connection. Every connection. And I'm not talking about the people you just meet one day and then they go on about their business. I'm talking about the people who are consistently showing up in your life. They're showing up for a reason. Stop and look at every relationship that you have. Everybody who's in your life, except for your children, well, even your children, right? Because they're there to teach you something too. So look at how they interact with you. Look at how they respond to you. Look at how they communicate with you. Every single person that you deal with on a regular basis, stop and just examine the rapport. The way they communicate verbally and non-verbally. And that is going to give you an understanding of why this person is in your life. Now, do you like the way this person is communicating with you? If you don't, then try to take a good hard look at yourself and understand why you don't like it. Why don't I like the way this person talks to me? Because it's blah, 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 and it's blah, blah, blah. So if this person talks to you like that, and it's blah, 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 and it's blah, 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 and it's not something that you resonate with, then you will say something about it. If it's something that you resonate with, then you won't say anything about it. Now, if you secretly don't say anything about it, then that's the you, you telling the universe you resonate with that. So the universe is just going to give you more of that. So that person's going to be back the next day on the next on, on some more of that bullshit. Until you say, hey, 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 hey that's, that's, that's enough. And then if they still don't respect that, then what is it time for you to do? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's get you some advice real quick. Um, let's pull from this other deck, and we're going to get up out of here. So, hopefully, the lessons have been learned with this karmic cycle coming to a close. We're starting a new cycle, a new 10-year period, uh, starting uh, March, what is it, March 19th. That's when Aries season begins. So, rest up, learn your lessons, reflect back on what's going on, look at the people who are in, who are in your life moving forward. Learn from, you know, what you have done in the past as far as allowing people to do what they've done to you or treat you the way that they treated you and move forward knowing that you know better. And when you know better, you do better. All right. Because here's the round and round that came out in reverse. You're not going to keep going through that bullshit anymore. You're not going to do that. It's a wrap. You've been through too much already. You're going to know when it's time to go. This is what I'm talking about. I love when spirit backs, backs me up. And then we have go the distance in reverse. Exactly. You're not going to go the distance. You're not going to try to work it out. You're not going to try to kiss ass. You're not going to be a people pleaser for people who are purposely put in your life to treat you like shit, especially after you brought it to their attention and they still do it. No, it's time to go. Stop the damn cycle. Okay. This is not where you need